Push button. Push button. I was the guy in Tism. No, really. I was the guy in Tism. No, really. I wrote the bits you like, but not the bits you hate. I wrote the bits you like, but not the bits you hate. I was the guy in Tism. Push button. I was the guy in Tism. There, I said it. I was the guy in Tism. Push button. I was the guy in Tism. Does that mean I'll be recognised, lionised, iconised, canonised? Does that mean the barmaid at that place in Flinders Lane won't look at me like I'm there to collect my daughter? Does that mean I won't be sneered at in groovy record stores? Does that mean people will forgive me for being a self-centred bore? Does that mean my hitherto plain features will become strangely compelling? Does that mean I'll get an invite to the Hall of Fame dinner? So I can disgust some ex-idol winner by seeing how many of those thumbnail-sized toothpick burgers I can fit in my mouth at once? And later on at the after-party get really drunk and make an ass of myself in front of the cameras by unzipping my fly and saying, here's something for Kate? I was the guy in Tism. Push button. I was the guy in Tism. Does that mean Ruby Rose will ink my name on a beautiful skin? And then one day, when it's stretched beyond recognition, it'll look like it spells Dorian Gray? Does that mean I'll get reviewed on Pitchfork? And they won't pick on me, because, you know, like, they're pretty harsh on Pitchfork. I mean, especially if you use generic synth patches. Obviously, there is no way I am using generic synth patches. I'm using a cheap synth without a date rave sounds because, you know, I choose to. I'd like to apologise to everyone who I should apologise to. Whatever it was I said, I never meant it. And to everyone who really liked what I said, I meant it. I was the guy in Tism. You've never heard of Tism? <laughs> 